there's another um, animals I would beat in a fight tier list. This one, you know what? It's got some of the same animals, but that just means we can rank them even faster, okay? Please know my heart can't take it. I would paint the walls in their blood. They'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I would win. It would be a close one, but I'd win. 50-50 chance. It would be a close one, but I'd lose. I'd get a few hits in, but I'd lose. I'd get torn to shreds. I'd be too scared to even fight. Okay. Step one. Lobster. I would paint the walls in their blood. Lobster's got no chance. We already did this. Um, zebra. I'm not going to use the last category. I don't think that's fair. Zebra. I kind of see zebra like it's a, a weaker rhino. Um, but I still, much, much like a camel, I still don't see a world in which I can deliver a lethal blow to a, to a zebra. Why not horse? Because we didn't rank horse in the previous quiz. I'm using it as a relative jumping off point. You need to extend your attention span like longer than 30 seconds. I'm not saying it's most similar animal on planet Earth is, is a rhino. I'm saying that it's most similar animal to the one that we've ranked here was a, was a rhino. Fine, I'll pay attention. Okay, thank, thank God. Giraffe makes more sense? Leave, leave my chat. I'm sorry. If you're going to be that pedantic about arguments in a what animal would I beat in a fight list, why didn't you say camel then? Leave. You're not on, you don't deserve to watch this. I'm sorry. You don't deserve... If you were laughing and then you said you made a, a slight continuity error, you don't deserve to be here. Go watch something worse. Goodbye. I don't, I don't, I don't support you watching this. Go. Okay. Now, now that all the adults are here, I don't think I would be torn to shreds by a zebra. I mean, I think it, in a literal sense, I would get a few hits in. I don't know if the hits would really do too much damage, but I, I wouldn't get torn to shreds. I might leave a bruise or something like that. This isn't a mouse, right? Isn't this the, the Australian animal from Super Auto Pets? Don't say kangaroo. You know what I'm talking about. It's called a, a, a jerboa. Jeroba? Jerboa, yeah. Anyway, either way, I mean, it's toast. There's no chance. A deer. Well, I would stand a better chance against a deer uh, than a moose. But I still don't think... it's Any of these animals, any of the ungulates... I just, the neck is so thick that I don't see myself being able to, to do any damage to it. Like, it, all it needs to do is get me with, like, any variety. It's got too many tools in the toolbox. It could kick me, step on me, bite me, gore me with its antlers. Like, uh, it's got a reach advantage because of the antlers. Like, I, I don't think that realistically I'm going to be like jumping on it and then grabbing the antlers and twisting his neck off. I don't think it's happening. So I think I get a few hits in, but I lose. This is an iguana. I think there's a simple rule. If I've ever seen uh, someone eat you on Naked and Afraid, I mean, that's an unarmed human. They have some survival skills, obviously, but... Like, there's no way that I'm losing that fight. I've seen people catch you on the Discovery Channel with, like, a, with like twine and leaves. So, like, you're done. This is a win. Now, I'm going to assume this is just a normal squid. Um, a, a normal squid. I think I got a better chance. Oh, it's a giant squid. If it's a giant squid, I'm toast. If it's a normal squid, like... I, I at least don't want to fight in, like, the deep sea. Can I fight it in, like, the littoral range? A squid would get some hits in for sure. 
I think it's a, the question is whether or not I would get some hits in because it's definitely it's definitely killing me. I don't know how it would do it, but I'm I'm assuming it's got a variety of different ways. I just I mean if this is a giant or a colossal, even if this is just like a normal sized squid, I don't know, dude. Honestly, I've seen squids. I think I could kill a normal squid in the water. I think I could just grab it with my hands and like squeeze it or, or fold it or something like that. But I'm going to say this squid looks pretty big based on, I mean, if they could put like a banana next to it in the image or something so that I could actually like, you know, know its relative size, that would be nice. But I'm going to say this one, I, I mean, <laughs> if it's a giant squid, I'm, there's no shot. If it's a giant squid, I'd probably get torn to shreds. If it's a normal squid, like, I think I'd just clear it easy. But I think I, I got to put it in the, maybe I'd get a few hits in. Now, a, a, a Kodiak bear, in the literal sense of the word, I would get torn to shreds. I cannot, uh, there's no chance. I would have no hope, essentially. Um, I'm, it's hard for me to tell if this is a rhino or a hippo. To me, this looks like a, a, I thought it looked like a rhino, but let's assume it's a hippo because it's more, it's more fun because we haven't done it. Um, much like the ungulates, there's no world in which I kill a hippo. It's too big. It doesn't have any obvious weak points. Uh, I, it, can, it can crush a watermelon with its bite force. I'm assuming it's pretty fast. Faster than that pig, I could tell just by looking at it. I think that I'd be torn to shreds. Now, I'm going to level with you. They're forcing our hand. Previously, we had a draw, no winners. I think if push came to shove, I beat the sea turtle. I just don't see a world that the sea turtle defeats me. I think I, if, if at any point I was able to grab it, I, I got a chance. Otherwise, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to do it. But it's like underwater, but I can surface. I don't think I have to hold my breath the whole time. But I, I, I'm with you. Like I don't think a sea turtle is ever going to do anything to me. Like it's, it could. You're right. It could outlive me. I think I'd. I'd put this at like, they'd get a few hits in, but I'd win. A tiger is just. I mean. You realize pretty quickly that there's, like, not too many animals in the middle, huh? There's, like, a lot of animals that are, like, I would easily kill them. And there's a lot of animals that are, like, they would easily kill me. And then there's only a few that really exist in the, in the, in the middle. Um, a tiger, there's no chance. There's no chance. I would be torn to shreds. This wolf, to me, it looks a little bit more menacing to the pre than the previous wolf. I think it would be a close one, but I'd lose. I think I'd lose. I'm not saying I would win, but I don't think the wolf would be like, that was fun. I feel like the wolf would be like, oh shit, like, I'm glad I got him. If it's in a pack, you're toast. Okay, and if it's one and I'm in a pack, it's toast. Deer over wolf? I honestly, I mean, listen, it's, it's hard to say. <laughs> this is why there's rock, paper, and scissors. If the game was just rock, paper, your ass would be throwing paper all the time, okay? But, like, I think I am more likely to beat a wolf than beat a deer. In, a, in, in just unarmed combat? Yes. Now, what wins between wolf and deer? I think that wolf beats deer easily. If I had the teeth of a wolf, I would do better against a deer, but I don't. I got these little, like, peanut mashers here. But, like, I think it's... It, it just in my head, it seems easier for a human to deliver a lethal blow to a wolf than it does to deliver a lethal blow to a deer. Like, because I, I think, the, how do humans generate force? 
Our best weapon is our feet, right? We, we kick them. You could kick a wolf in the stomach. I'm not kicking a deer in the stomach. His stomach is like four feet off the ground. I'm not kicking it in the head. It's like seven feet tall. Like there's no chance. I'm not gonna... <laughs> the, yes, the deer is specced for defense. Like this is, this is like a war of attrition. This is a heavyweight knockout. I, I, no question. If it was who beats a deer in a fight, wolf clears it, no doubt. But I think I'm more like, I think I'm, I lose to both in my opinion. But I think I, I'm more likely as a human being to kill a wolf than kill a deer. Now in the forest, what would I rather see? I'd rather see a deer because it's scared of me. If I saw a wolf, I would be like, oh shit. Like I'm much more likely to get eaten by a wolf. Now parrot, I don't even think I have to tell you this one. This, this dude is, is going bye-bye. There's no shot. You can basically rip a bird in half with your bare hands. And I know that because I get rotisserie chickens from Costco now and then. If you're too lazy to carve it, you can just dig right in, brother. I mean, I guess that's cooked flesh, but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, Komodo dragon or Gila monster, I would be torn to shreds. I, would, I, I might get some hits in, but because of its uh, armored carapace, no chance. Lion, definitely got to be among the least chance out there. I, a, a lion beats me in essentially every category. An eagle. An eagle's an interesting one. All the other birds that we've had to deal with... Um, have been very small, non-threatening birds. An eagle, so it's a genuine predator. And I think that, I mean, like, you, the eagle comes down and tussles with you. He does some damage to you. You do some damage to him. He flies away. You're like, I fucking hate this dude. Just come down here and give me a fair fight. But I think... I, I think that... I mean, maybe this is egotistical. I don't realistically think it would be a close one. I think, I think they would get a few bites in. I think they would draw blood. I think I would be hurt. But I don't think they would ever be in danger of killing me. How is an eagle going to kill me? It has sharp talons. Literally, if it starts to claw at, at my face, I'll just wrap my arms around it, pull it down to my stomach in one fluid motion, and then fall over on top of it and just squeeze. It's over. It's done. I would crush it. They're strong AF. Yeah, not, not as strong as a human being. It's that easy? Dude, if, if eagles were as smart as us, you'd think they'd be having the same conversation. I think I could definitely beat a human. Bro, how? I'd use my sharp claws to uh, tear open their belly so their organs fell out. Oh, really? And while you're doing that, they're with their huge chests and arms and brains, they're just gonna let you do that, huh? You don't think they're gonna use their opposable thumbs to grab your skull and just crush it? Did you know human beings are capable of running at up to 60 kilometers an hour and deadlifting 1,400 pounds? There's even been reports of human females lifting cars off of their babies when their adrenaline hits. But sure, okay, you're, gonna, you're just going to run down there and with one swipe, you're going to cut open his jugular vein. Okay. I'm telling you, I clear an eagle. It would hurt. Like, it's not like a lobster. Like, a lobster, I would, like, invite people over. An eagle, I would be like, this is a movie for real. Now, oh, this is our rhino. Well, like, let's be realistic. Like, a rhino has no chance. <laughs> it's a panda again. <laughs> this, any bird that looks like this, there's, there's simply no chance. I would paint the walls in their blood. Um, I have to say, listen... 
the same thing with the turtle. I said the turtle last time was a draw because the draw was open. No draw this time. If I had to bet overall, I would say I'd get a few hits. If there's no chance for a draw, the panda beats me. I, I have no way to kill it. But I do think I do some damage. Or I, I, I at least land some shots. Damage might be relative, though. Like, who wins versus wolf versus panda? I feel like a wolf beats a panda. Like, wouldn't a panda not even know that the fight was happening until the, <laughs> until the battle's already over? <laughs> Panda easily? I don't know, man. Isn't that why they're all in the zoo? So they don't just get, like, eaten by, like, insects and bugs and shit? I'm sorry, what the fuck is this placement of the wolf? Apollo, I'm just saying... I, I, people are saying I'm crazy. I know that a wolf can kill a deer easily. They're probably one of the, the deer's most common predators. But I just, it seems more likely to me, it seems more real. By the way, I'm saying I would lose. I'm just saying that I'd lose more easily against a deer because I don't know how I would kill a deer. I could, one single solitary wolf, I think there's a chance that I could kick it in the head and go to town. One good strike right to the, the wolf temple and then just like no mercy, maybe I get lucky. A deer, I just don't see how I generate like the Newtons required to, to end its life. You snap its neck? You're so stupid. It's driving me crazy. How are you going to mount a deer like Hidalgo mid-stride grab its horns and generate enough force to, to break its neck. That's madness. This is never happening in a million years. So <laughs> QTE. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe if you're Legolas. I think I think it's like rock, paper, scissors. Maybe I beat Wolf. Wolf definitely beats deer, and deer definitely beats me. But that, it's like rock, paper, scissors if scissors had like a 70 to 90% chance to beat rock <laughs> sometimes. A ferret? I'm sorry to tell you. You know what? I'll, I'll, be, I'll be kind to a ferret. I think it gets a couple of shots in, but like, it's not, it's not even, like, this is like, I clear you, this is a fight, I clear you. But I do think you probably bite me a couple of times or claw me or something. It's not over an eagle, they're at equivalent tiers. Okay, you know what, you're right, the eagle should go down one. I still think I win. Well, it's like, I'm, I think I'm being too literal. I'm not saying that a ferret and an eagle are like the same strength. All I'm saying is like, a, I think an eagle would do more damage to me, but it could never get the accretive value to kill me. It could deliver a lot of superficial damage. Now, I think that a ferret could do a little superficial damage. Like all these ones, I'm not even getting bruised. I'm just squeezing my fist and it's over for them. Macaw is massive. It's not doing anything to me. What's it going to do? Peck me on the arm? I'll rip you in half like a chicken tender. Now, Gorilla is not even close. Like, this is... <laughs> I think a Gorilla maybe, like, loses to a lion, but, like, this is no chance. And I don't even know what you are. I think you're an orangutan. Basically, like... Any gorilla, I guess, a gor gor I, I, I'm not good with the, the subspecies and the, and the genuses and the families. 
Any ape basically kills me. I think there's probably like a couple of monkeys I could take, but but if you were part of the leading executive council in the Planet of the Apes remakes, I got no shot. Because I've seen one of those uh, gorillas hijacked a damn helicopter. This, I think, is, a, is like a llama or an alpaca. And I would say, I mean, people might take some issue with this. I, I would rather fight like a llama than a, than a deer. But I do feel like it's kind of hard for me to deliver like a killing blow. So I think I would put it in like wolf tier. I think I would lose just... And again, you'd be like, really? Llama and wolf in the same tier? Well, here's the deal. I think if I lose to a wolf, I lose in like under 30 seconds. The llama, I just don't think... It's like a war of attrition. Like, I think this fight could go on for a couple days, but there's just no way for me to finish the job. So I think eventually I just lose. Like, I think the wolf... If my power level is like normalized at like... a pardon me, 100, and then like a gorilla is like 500, and a lobster is one. A wolf is like 175. Very, very strong chance to, to kill me, but maybe there's a chance. A llama is like 102, but its defense value is like overstated. Like there's no way for me to kill it. I literally made up the numbers and the scale. And someone said it's actually more like 225. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I invented it three seconds ago. It's not real. Okay, I, this is... Any animal underwater with big teeth, any large animal underwater with teeth in its mouth kills me. There's no chance. I don't know if this is a, a great white shark or some other kind of shark, but like, there's no chance. I would get torn to shreds. Hopeless. Elephant, this is like the ultimate deer. It has the horns, it's, it's bigger, it has some armor. There's no shot. This is, this is the, the uber deer. I cannot kill you. Now, I don't know what kind of snake this is. That, oh, thank you. It's a green pit viper. I'm going to assume that Pit Viper um, is venomous. Venomous, I, I hate to say it, we have to put it in 50-50 because we both, we lose. He bites me, I, you know, roll over on top of him and squish him and then we both die. That's, that's a 50-50 for lack of a better option here. Starfish, I'm going to say even if this thing is venomous, there's no chance. You're, you, what are you going to do? There's nothing you could do. It's over. People like kill these by accident all the time. You shouldn't even be on the list. Uh, any alligator or crocodile animal is no chance. Full stop. Now, a horse. It's a lot like a deer. I would put it right up. I mean, I, I can't come up with a good argument to not have the horse and zebra right next to each other. I think I could do a little bit of damage, but I think that I, there's, I just don't have a realistic path to success. You know what it is? Is like, I, I'm looking at this, you guys are looking at it like a Goku versus Vegeta power level thing. I'm looking at uh, like a lot more like a US presidential election, okay? And like the, the, there's different matchups here. Like, sure, if you put, like, candidate A up against candidate C, candidate A clears them. But that doesn't mean that I do better against candidate C than I do against candidate A, because there's different, them, the different candidates appeal to different states which have different electoral values, which have, like, you know what I mean? He's actually right. I know! That's, I, I finally, it took me a couple hours, but I finally found, like, a good metaphor for it. It's like, you know, sure, maybe Joe Biden beats Trump in 2020. And then we, you're like, oh, really? But you got like uh, Pete Buttigieg up here. And I'm like, yeah, well, Pete Buttigieg, he might not be the guy if the guy he's going up against is the deer. But maybe if Pete Buttigieg is going up against the Komodo dragon, then that's what you need in 2024. I don't like you just need there's different 
you got to evaluate them all on an on A versus B versus C versus you know you got to evaluate them all against each other. You can't just do like oh really so like you think a a sea turtle could actually kill like a a, a flying animal? No, I think I could kill both of them. That's the important part. Now, could I kill what to me appears to be... Listen, it doesn't matter whether it's a leopard or a cheetah. <laughs> I think that I'm probably dead in both ways. It's a cheetah? I Well, I mean, I feel like if... I wouldn't even care which one I went up against because I think I'm just... I'm done. So I would get torn to shreds. Cheetah, you could hit it, but you'd likely lose. Cheetahs are weak. There's no shot, dude. Cheetahs are beatable? <laughs> really? Hang on. Who would win? I love that all of these come up with real results, by the way. Who would win in a fight? Cheetah or human? Wow. Wow. From the healthyjournal.com. While cheetahs are stronger and faster than you, you still have a fighting chance if you're being attacked. It's possible for humans to win a, a fight against a leopard, as in the case, I know this says leopard, but this is just the first result. As in the case of 56 year old woman who killed an attacking leopard with a sickle and a spade and survived with heavy injuries. And the case of a 73-year-old man who fatally tore the tongue out of a leopard. Okay, the, the first one is invalidated based on weapons. The second one is fucking crazy. <laughs> it's ripped out the tongue of an attacking leopard. Can an average cheetah, can an average human kill a cheetah in a fight? Sure, it's possible. While a cheetah might be on the weaker side when it comes to big cats, they're still relatively strong and capable of bringing down many large animals. This is an AI-driven article. There's like no source or anything. Human versus... Oh, sorry, there's a Reddit result as well. Hey, Bot Nasty, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Human versus cheetah in a boxed room. Human wins all three. Cheetahs are lightly built speedsters, not well suited for close combat with prey that fights back. Years ago, I worked at an animal shelter that had a 100-pound cheetah. It attacked another worker, and he beat the shit out of it, broke a few of its ribs, and pummeled it until it was nearly unconscious. He was 6'3 and 230. That sucker scratched him up pretty good, though. All right, I mean, I'm not 6'3, 230. I guess, I, I can't believe it, but I, I learned something. I'm going to put it in, it's a close one, but I would lose. I still would bet on the cheetah versus me, but... I, I am very surprised. I thought a cheetah would rinse me easy. Now, a clownfish is not even close. The only thing a clownfish wins in is uh, who can hide in a sea anemone the longest contest. A house cat... I mean, on a literal sense, they would get a few hits in. I guess I would probably get scratched up pretty good, but I don't want to think about it any more than that. But Octopus, underwater, we went through this. I'd get a few hits in, but I'd lose. I got no recourse. Similarly, crab, the crab cannot stop me. I don't think that uh, uh, most animals, I don't think that I could beat underwater. A crab, I could beat underwater. I could generate the force to kill it. I do think it probably, it probably snaps me a couple times, though. Now, a dog? So true. Demi Moore and Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel, I'm assuming. <laughs> but where's the equal sign bracket? We're doing arguments over what animals I could beat in a fight. You'll be happy to know that I think most animals could take me in a fight for the matter, for that matter. I just, I am sorry, I can't read this. It's just too fast. What movie are Kevin Bacon and Demi Moore in? Uh, 
I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't have an answer. Is it X-Men First Class? <laughs> Shouldn't be Hollow Man. Hollow Man is Elizabeth Shue. Ah, A Few Good Men, of course. The top billed actors in A Few Good Men. Demi Moore and Kevin Bacon. Tom who? Who Nicholson? There's no doubt about it. I am beating this dog in a fight. They would bite me. They would scratch me. It would, the, the cat would be easier, but I'm, I'm rinsing this dog for sure. It wouldn't be close. A peacock. Similarly, I think that I take a peacock. I bet they peck me a couple times. I bet it's not very nice, but I, I certainly think there's no chance they kill me. Now, sheep is like, if, if you're, if an elephant is like the giga deer, where like I, there's just no path to lethality for me, um, a sheep is like the micro deer. Like, I definitely think that the sheep cannot kill me, and I think I could kill the sheep pretty easily. I, I mean, I, I know we put a lot and they'd get a few hits in here, but I didn't make the list in the first place. I'm just ranking them. The... I mean, I just, I can't imagine what they would do, especially with no horns, like a hornless sheep. I don't, I'm giving them some credit that they'd get some hits in. Like, they're not quite at the same level as, you know, like a lobster. <laughs> like, they literally are just, like, you just grab them by, like, the tail and then smash them against a wall or something like that. But, like, I think if the sheep tried to hit me, is it naive to say that I would simply get out of the way? And then, uh, and then I would kill it. I'm not going to stand still while it rams me. I'm not going to give it a free shot. Anyway, it's over. Like it, it, I'm, I'm, I think it could bruise me a little bit. A, and I'm sorry again. A swan? There's no world in which a swan kills me. It does. It's not. It's no eagle. Let's be honest. It would prop much like a peacock, I think it would get a couple bites in. Swans can break bones. Yeah, people can break bones too. Who do you think would win in a bone breaking competition? I'd probably put my money on the person. I put my money on the swans. I would take that bet any day of the week. I got bullied by Canada geese in high school. I didn't. If I was there, it wouldn't have gone down like that. I believe this is an owl. I'm sorry. <laughs> I Maybe an ostrich kills me, okay? I don't know if there's another bird on the planet that, that beats me in a more than 50-50 in a fight. If eagle is like 55-45, okay, cassowary did, that's right. I forgot that was a bird. <laughs> but I, I think an owl, yes, it pecks me, but I probably, I probably own it. Now, flip side. Blue whale, I don't think I'm, I have any recourse here. I, I think I'm washed. Or a, This is a humpback, sorry. I don't know what... The only thing I could do to kill a whale is get lodged in his windpipe. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I would be torn to shreds. We went through this. I think of the animals we've done so far, seal might be like the most deceptively strong. Like it doesn't have legs or wings, but I still think it would rinse me. I mean, they eat penguins. It has teeth? Well, yeah, me too, but... Assuming this is the leopard seal again, like, I, I have no chance. Now, a duck, yet again? I, I would even say I don't think a duck does much damage to me. I think the duck is just is done. A cow? In a literal level, I think a cow is like a... It's a husky deer with no antlers. I, it's not realistic that I could kill it. 
It would kill me, but it would take a long time. A dolphin in the water, I cannot kill it. It's not, there is no path to getting this down to zero HP. I do think I could punch it a couple times. I don't know how much it would hurt. I think I could annoy it at least. And goat is like a... I mean, I got to put it like next to sheep. Especially, this doesn't even look like an angry goat. This just looks like a normal... It looks like a... <laughs> this is just like a cute goat. Like, it's over. You're, you're in the sheep tier. I think this is accurate. Why do you have cow is less likely to beat you than... Or more likely to beat you than wolf? Because I... Listen. I can't beat a cow. I can't kill it. It's like trying to kill, like, a rock. There's the... I can't... You know, like in uh, an RPG, when you go to like a, a late game area by accident, and then you like hit an enemy with your sword, and it takes off an imperceptible amount of their hit bar, like their their health points come up, and you can't even tell that you did damage. That's me versus a cow. I don't think I could kill it. Now, wolf, a wolf's DPS is crazy. But it also has, like, I would do some damage to a wolf if I could hit it. Google man versus wolf. I don't need to. I've seen The Grey starring Liam Neeson. Who would win in a fight? A wolf or a human? Okay. <clears throat> This was written by someone who loves wolves. I'm going to read it anyway because I'm intellectually honest. An unarmed human could not beat a wolf in a fight. Wolves are too strong, fast, and ferocious for a person to overcome in the vast majority of cases. Okay, it says vast majority. It doesn't say impossible. So which is it? it could an unarmed person could not beat a wolf in a fight or it's unlikely. Wolves are apex predators that should make any lone person recoil in fear that they should encounter one in the wild. Okay, we get it. Like, you love wolves. The only chance a human would have would be to somehow use their strength and body weight to take down and choke the wolf to death. That's not going to happen, though. Why? Source dude, just trust me. Before you imagine yourself putting a wolf in a chokehold, you have to realize that even most domesticated dogs can fight their way out of having their nails clipped. Are you stupid? It's not, it's because you don't want to hurt your dog by like restraining it to the point where they're going to be like breaking their arms trying to get out of this. You're not putting your dog into like a, a full Nelson to cut your dog's fingernails or like, paw nails. What would most likely happen is the wolf would stalk the human, waiting for them to make a move. If the human runs, the wolf would follow, waiting on the individual to get tired. That's when the attack will come and the person will be too exhausted and scared to fight back. Okay, so it doesn't even like fit the terms here because we're dropping them both into an arena. If the person stands and fights, the wolf will probably test them by lunging and dodging, delivering a bite here and there. Eventually, the wolf is going to see there isn't much in the way of danger and will attack. The human will go down in so much pain they won't be able to fight back. I mean, I'm sorry to say, they maybe this is how it would go down like for you because you love wolves so much. But I mean, I would like to at least... I didn't say I would beat it, for the record. I said it would beat me. But this is not how it's going to go for me. I'm at least going to fight back a little bit. What animal could beat a wolf in a fight? A brown bear. And that's it. Wow. This is from wolvesareawesome.com. Who would win in a fight? A wolf or a man? It depends on the will to live and the human. In general, the human should win in most cases, even when badly wounded, and he may die if his wounds aren't treated. The human ability to grab... Be it a stone, a stick, or even just the wolf itself is a game changer. A human can punish, break bones, and just strangle the wolf, while the wolf can pretty much only bite and scratch 
which a human can do too, actually. Me going to town on a on a wolf. <laughs> I don't know if I if I put too much power level in, with the human scratching. A human being is simply far more flexible in his body, especially the way their arms can move. The wolf, the wolf shouldn't be over underestimated, though. His bite can crush bones and will heavily wound a human being. If wolves kill deer heavier than themselves, they usually hunt in a pack and not alone, or they're deer that aren't able to defend themselves. Even a, a roe, that's a female deer, can wound a single wolf badly with its hooves. And blah, blah, blah. The other problem is the... Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what is it? No, a roe is a female deer, right? A doe is as well, but a roe is a female deer. It's both. Yeah, it's a, it's a type of deer. The female type. <laughs> They're fish eggs? Yeah, welcome to the English language. We got a lot of words that do some heavy lifting. They got two jobs. The damn gig economies getting out of control. The other problem here is the domestication of humans. When you allow me to call it this way, the fight or flight mechanism of the body is not really trained in many people. Most people just don't fight anymore, even when they have to survive, which can be observed in the many situations in which people get bitten to death by a single dog. They just haven't learned to be violent, which leaves them oftentimes helpless in such natural situations. A modern Western city man or woman that never had to spend a night outside and never had to fight would probably lose against a wolf. Our ancestors would win but die from their wounds due to no or bad medical treatment. A modern human that learned the will to live in the wilderness would probably win. What? The way I'm looking at this is that it's, it's debatable. Could I beat a singular wolf in a fight? The answer is yes, although I expect you underestimate the power and reflexes of a wolf. As someone who's had direct experience with captured and hybrid wolves, I can tell you unless you've been in the presence of one of these animals, you simply cannot understand the beast's incredible strength and destructive potential. That being said, you clear it easy. Like many other large predators, they have a particularly invulner particular vulnerability, which can be exploited by humans. Nature has designed feral canines to attack fleeing prey using mouth structures specifically configured to keep bitten animals from pulling away. However, they have no psycho physiological mechanism for preventing an object from being pushed into their mouths and throats. The recommended survival technique for an attacking domesticated dog is to offer the forearm, then use the free arm to secure the back of the animal's head. The legs are then wrapped around the canine's torso and the animal rolled onto its back. Ordinarily, a dog will at this point attempt to dislodge the forearm from its mouth and get back to its feet. With proper resolve, the animal can be, the animal can be held in place and the bitten arm shifted so the fist can be pushed into the dog's throat and esophagus. This can profoundly restrict respiration. Holy cow. I'm going to be honest. I don't see me doing that either. I'm going to stick with the kicks. I... <laughs> I, you know, that'd be a great uh, scene in a movie, though. You could have that, like, hey, wh who would win? Like, when the characters all meet in the lodge and they're getting ready to go, like, ice fishing tomorrow, they have an argument over drinks. Who would win in a fight? I think I would beat a wolf, honestly. No way, dude. Blah, 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 blah. You're an idiot. Blah, 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 blah. Look it up. And then they read the whole thing and, and then they're like, oh, okay. And then, like, a wolf starts hunting them. And then the guy who thought he could beat the wolf is like, don't worry, guys, I got this. And he holds out his arm like this. And then the wolf just comes and bites it clean off and runs away with it. And he's like, ah, that would be a that would be a great scene. That one's on the house. Otherwise, I will not apologize for any of this. What else do we have? Those are the three big ones. <laughs> I'm, I, I did have one Canadian chocolate, but honestly, like, I'm not that, I'm not that much of a chocolate guy. I'm not going to sit here and rank Toblerone versus Score. And then 
someone did make a Disneyland's attraction list. But the thing is, like, um, I didn't ride some of the big Disneyland rides. Like, I, I didn't ride um, Space Mountain or Splash Mountain or Matterhorn bobsleds. So I don't think that would be, like, a realistic list, quite frankly. Also, I don't even think they had the Hall of Presidents. That might be a Disney World thing, for all I know. Is, is Hall of Presidents just... It's a small world after all, but instead of different countries, you go through, like... You see every American president? It's, it's actually just an auditorium you walk through? What? It's, how can it be worse than It's a Small World After All? It's a Small World After All is like actually, like it, it's worse to be on the ride than it is to be not on the ride. Cap? It's not cap, okay? It's facts. You literally just watch robots talk in a theater. Oh, and yet you guys love uh, AI Seinfeld. <laughs> okay. Anyway.